Welcome to Album of the Week, episode 23, February 2023. For those of you who are new to this channel, here at Screen Blast Repeat, we bring you all things Extreme Metal, Prog and Dark Alternative. You can read our daily reviews at www.screenblastrepeat.com. As a reminder, our definition of Album of the Week means our favourite record from a short list of eight today. We review the debut album from Finnish progressive doom metal group, The Abbey. Their new LP is called Word of Sin, and they released it by A Season of Mist on the 17th of February, 2023. The Abbey formed with no great aspirations. Finnish metal veteran Jesse Heikkinen wanted to try his hand at lead vocals in a doom metal group after years of providing guitars for numerous bands. He had no ingenious plan to conquer the world. Screen Blast Repeat readers will know him as the multi-instrumentalist songwriter behind the avant-garde black metal act, Philosopher. Joining him as dual vocalist in the Abbey is none other than Natalie Koskinen of Funeral Doom Heavyweight's Shape of Despair. As an ex-member of Depressed Mode and ex-wife of former amorphous vocalist Parsi Koskinen, hers is a name that carries weight in the Finnish underground. These two did not know each other before drummer Vesa Ranta suggested Koskinen as the female voice to counter Heikkinen's vision of a theatrical rock band playing doom metal. It might have shades of Ghost and the Blue Oyster Cult, but the band's debut album is an enchanting piece of art that deserves 53 minutes of your time. When we say doom metal, we should clarify that the Abbey's vision is one of ringing chords and heart-choking anguish. What separates them from their peers is their willingness to make the dual vocal harmonies the foundations of their music. Even the crunchy downstrokes and sliding bass movements in opener Rat King cannot dislodge the spellbinding sensation of Heikkinen and Koskinen as they lock into a pleading incantation of voice. Heikkinen lets his bandmate lead on this track with an enchanting stir of soprano harmonies. Listen how the middle eight switches to a piece of rhythmic metal before launching into a galloping climax of gothic keyboard textures and weeping guitars. Of course you can hear elements of ghost in the songwriting, but this is darker and heavier. Squirming high register guitar patterns fizzle over the bite of the distorted vibrato notes flaming from the amps of the rhythm guitarists. No burdens disappear here in a resilient victory for the mind over misery. This is a colour palette of scarlet and grey rather than black and white. Jesse Heikkinen had no formal voice training or even a clear idea of how it might sound until he started demoing the tracks for this album. This seems inconceivable when you listen to his powerful head voice emerge from the vocal booth on Crystallion like a heavy metal version of Mark Hollis of English art rock legends Talk Talk. This start-stop triumph of a song experiments with contrasting dynamics and ends up like a collaboration between David Bowie and Ahab. On Widow's Will, he lowers his range to that of a lower-pitched goth register. Koskinen adds the lonely beauty of her pipes in the right moments where your clenched jaw begins to ache. This woman is the liquid gold in the mix. The sorrows of her voice on Starless will remind you of US Avant Doom Trio 8 Bells when you let the cadences seep into your skin like a light breeze on your neck as you contemplate the jump from a skyscraper ledge. The marching drums and progressive blues solo at the end will pull you back from the unthinkable. 
Though never the master, the riff is still prominent on this album. Queen of Pain toys with a 1970s hook, played in the manner of a morbid goth metal band. You could compare Koskin and Sultry Tones with that of Gillian Ray's astounding performance on the debut Third Secret LP released last year. Desert Temple aims to bruise you with its thrash metal posturing, but soon finds an alternative reality in a crematorium, watching the curtains close on the catafalque as the coffin slides through the incinerator. They take a risk with the decision to end Word of Sin in the mournful 12 minutes of closing track, Old Ones. Your stamina levels ought to be shattered, but the church organs and harmonised guitars provide Heikinen and Koskinen with one last dance macabre amidst roaring thundercloud samples. Better days might never come, but the climactic ending gives you hope that perseverance will triumph. Those of you that cannot comprehend the critical acclaim and popularity of Ghost, including this reviewer, will understand the appeal of The Abbey. This band started as a side project, but the momentum might turn them into something more important. The second album is already underway, and we have every reason to be intrigued. So... With this in mind, we award this album an 8 out of 10. If you like this album, we recommend you check out the following records. Death White's 2022 offering, Grey Everlasting. Ghost's 2018 Smash It album, Prequel. And Shape of Despair's Return to the Void LP from last year. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and more importantly, please visit our website at www.screenblastrepeat.com for the latest album and EP reviews from established, up-and-coming and unsigned artists in the worlds of extreme metal prog and dark alternative.